Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're doing a chat GPT plugin review. And this one, we're gonna be covering Ask Your PDF. This is a great plugin. I'm gonna show you how to use it and I'm gonna show you a couple of use cases. It should only take a couple minutes at most. Let's get going here. So the first step, I'll just start from scratch. I'm gonna click on new chat here at the left side and then I'm gonna switch from 3.5 to GPT-4. Currently it's in beta, so the plugins are still in beta, but what you want to do is make sure there's a check mark beside plugins. So you'll see the check mark there, good. Click on that and then at, when you do that, you'll get this little drop down box here and you'll see here that I have Ask Your PDF installed. If you do not see that, and you'll also see a check mark beside it. If you don't see it, just click on the plugin store like I did there and then you just gotta find it. At the moment, there's currently no search option. So you just gotta find it. It's in the popular on the second page right now for me, but it's in there somewhere. Okay, once you've done that, click on the install button and we are rolling. The next step, and I recommend this for all plugins, is just go, how do I use this plugin? And it will run out and tell you, hey, here's what the plugin is and here's what it does. So here we go, you'll see here that it's gonna type up a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, yeah, here we go. So I've already done this, so I'm gonna let you skip this part and we're gonna go back to the previous chat. Oh no, it's already done, so that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and you'll see here that says you need to have to upload your document first, you can do this by visiting this link. So you basically need to have a document and it's gotta be on the internet. So I'm gonna click on the link and it's not a bait and switch, there's no problems here. It takes you to askyourpdf.com. Now all you need to do is just go into your finder, grab something, I've got a Spark Note, so I'm gonna show you a use case here. I've got a Spark Notes of Lord of the Flies. So I wanna figure out what Lord of the Flies is all about. So here we go, I'm gonna upload my PDF. You'll see it's uploaded. And then I'm just gonna click this link here that gives me the doc ID, that's what we need. So let's go back into chat GPT-4 and then that's it. So now what I'm gonna do is um, write, what is this uh, document about? And then I'm gonna um, just copy and paste in that doc ID and it's gonna look through it, it's gonna read it over. You'll see here that it's summoning or asking using ask your PDF. And then bang, now it's gonna chirp out exactly what it is. So here we go. It appears to be a spark notes guide for the novel Lord of the Flies. Here are some key points. Okay, beautiful. Who is the protagonist? Uh, I'm just gonna give you one more example in this document. I'm gonna command V again, and then let's see what happens. It should give me, what is it, Ralph? Or I think it was Ralph. I can't remember now. It's been a few years since I've read it. Uh, is Ralph. Look at that. Wow. My grade 11 English teacher would be so proud of me. So there you go. That's how you use it. Those are all the steps to it. It's a great plugin. Definitely worth it. Thanks for watching.